ーパーサイヤ人ロゼの力ボスボス Season is officially ending, and tomorrow morning we are going to get our reset rewards, which is the best thing of January, and that would be Corona Crystals. Now, if you're looking at your Corona Crystal count and it's less than a thousand gems, then the five tips I'm about to give is definitely going to assist you within the next season, which starts tomorrow. So, I'm going to show you a replay of things I did in a PvP game. And I want you to learn from that. Now, with PvP, it's all about practice. You need to constantly practice in PvP. I would not suggest using the treasure battle or training mode because in the treasure battle, you'll get a lot of、um, players that tend to just want to play around and they don't really take seriously. So, if you want a serious battle, then you need to go into a rating match, and that's what I always do. So, tip number one is to break your fear. Now, what's holding back a lot of players from reaching the top 10,000 is fear. They're scared to play more than two or three matches because they constantly lose. And with a losing streak, you always feel like you, you, you feel triggered and it could actually make your journey miserable in terms of a season. So, what you should do is you should play at least 10. Rating matches per day. You don't have to do it all at once. However, it's best to do it at the specific time when you know you can concentrate and you have a really good network and there's nobody around to take away your, your,、um, your attention. So, tip number one is control your fear. Press the button when the season starts tomorrow and just go with it. Choose your best team, and I will get to teams in a moment. Choose your team, place the rating match, and start playing. That's tip number one. Okay, now tip number two, and I will show you these tips in a video. I just want to、um, first tell you what they are. So, tip number two would be to observe your opponent. Don't just attack. Most players use their unique skill when a match starts, and that's normally the green card. For example, Beast g o n would use his green card when the match starts, or Also, the Gochi the Blue would use his green card when the match starts just to, just to stop time. So, the longer you can stop time in a rating match, the higher the chances i s that you can counter your opponent. So, that's tip two. The rest of the tips I will show you as the match progresses. And I'm going to show you three matches. So, the first match I'll show you is this match, which is a hybrid setup, which is myself, versus a fusion warrior team. Now, there is a few mistakes I made in this match, and I will highlight them as the video continues. Okay, so first things first. Alter the Gogeta Blue has an animation when he starts off, so wait for that to finish. As soon as that's done, I said that you need to observe. So observe what your opponent does. He activates a green card, so he tried to stop time, right? So I saw that coming, and then I dodged. Punched him in the face, and then got him on the side step. Now, I've got all that done because I was observing, and that's all you need to do. Once you've done observing and you caught them on the counter, just attack with a unit that can nullify cover change. And that's tip number three use a unit that can nullify cover change. If you can do that, you constantly will have the advantage. Okay, so with Pan, I did make one mistake I did a double sidestep, and that's tip number four don't double sidestep. Ever. It's a very big mistake. And with, with units like Pan, it's best to use your blue card. So if there's a unit that allows you to get Dragon Balls faster, use the i r card that allows them to do that. In this case, it's Pan, because Pan can get a Dragon Ball upon activation of her blue card. So I knew I was going to miss, but I still pressed the button because I wanted her to get a Dragon Ball. Okay, and then. That is basically the five tips I wanted to, to say. So let's go through them again. Tip number one don't be scared to do your rating matches and play 10 matches per day. That would be the best practice you could get out of it. Tip number two is observe your opponent's movements so that you can counter them on a side step. Be calm when you do that. Tip number three 
use your green card or any card that can stop time and prolong your combo by starting off with a unit that can nullify cover change. So Beast Gohan would be the perfect example because he nullifies cover change for about 15 seconds so that's why I use Beast Gohan. Okay. And uh, tip number 4 is to get your Rising Rush as fast as possible because in the current meta we got units like Goku Black and also Ultra Gogeta Blue that can nullify endurance through a Rising Rush. So you need a unit that can get Dragon Balls really quickly or destroy your enemy's Dragon Balls really quickly. If you can do either of the two you would have an advantage over your opponent. So units like Pan that Act that gains Dragon Balls upon activation of the blue card is a really good unit to use in PvP. And the final tip is to basically play as someone that knows the game and the different types of characters the game has so that you know what sort of counters your opponent will be using against you and with that you should be able to counter them quite easily and that's what you need to do in PvP. Practice those tips as much as possible and you'll notice that it go it comes with a flow. The more you, you flow around the easier it is. Also don't float too much. Uh, the enemy does love that. And finally don't rush. If it's a one on one where it's Ultra Gogeta versus your top unit, don't rush through the match. Just be calm and wait for them to make a mistake. Most players at the end of a game tend to rush and that's when the mistake comes. Like this, he basically ran out of key, he tapped me and he stood still and I just pressed my alt and I won. And that's basically how you need to play. I will be putting these tips into the description so if you need to read them, um, they will be there. And this is the tips that most uh, YouTubers or content creators don't really talk about because they don't feel the need or see the need of how important those tips are. Now I'll go to a match that I lost just to show you what I did wrong and hopefully these tips do help you in the next season. I will be making multiple kinds on how PvP works and I am also going to be streaming on Twitch mostly and you are welcome to join and follow me on there as well. So yeah, I got a perfect vanish off the bat and it started off quite good. I'm gonna speed this video up a little bit just to show you, how, just to make it go a bit quicker. So yes, I had a quite a good start here and I had quite a good combo going. Unfortunately for me, I did mess up with my with my pan. I didn't see them go with. I, I didn't observe properly. So the fact that I didn't observe properly uh, ended me of getting quite far into this game. And with Gohan, I, I messed up because instead of just attacking, I played the passive, and that's the worst thing to do. Also, if your opponent sidestep, don't sidestep with them because basically, if you both sidestep, it leaves you open to an attack. But yeah, um, that's what I wanted to show you in a nutshell. Other than that, um, I wish you guys the best of luck with your PvP journey, and yeah. Please do let me know in the comments who or how much uh, Chrono Crystals you will be receiving at the end of the season. I myself am quite happy with the amount I'm getting so I will be stopping on this amount. However the next uh, PvP season won't be double rewards so there won't be a lot of people actually gunning for the top ranks so it would be a good opportunity to practice your, your team building and your teams in PvP and see what works. For me. The best teams currently in the game is Hybrid Saiyans, which is a team that most people still use. And the second best team that I normally use in PvP would be Saka from the movies, which would be... It's this team here. Yeah, it's the team with Goku Black, a Pan and Beast Gohan. However, you can also substitute Goku Black for Ultra Gogeta Blue because he also does a very similar uh, in regards to Endurance Sanification and Rising Rush. But yes, that's, that's everything I wanted to say. And if you do like this sort of content, please do let me know. And yeah, thank you for watching. And please do subscribe and follow my channel. Cheers.